Hey everyone, Old Man More Days here, and welcome to another quick and dirty Stellaris video. In this video, it's the big one. We are going to be talking about the special crisis ships and the mega structures you get when you achieve different levels in crisis progress. So I stream five days a week, and I'm always happy to answer Stellaris related questions when I'm live on Twitch. And you can find the link to my channel in the description down below. And of course, as always, if you find this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. We're going to be talking about the special ships the Crisis gets in this video, and the Aether Ophasic Mega Structure, and of course, at the end of the video, I'm going to be showing off destroying a star system, because I know I know that's what you're really here for. So as you progress through the levels of Crisis, which we cover how to do in our other Crisis videos, you will unlock various new ships, which you can see in the ship designer right over here and build them from star bases or the fleet manager like normal. So we're going to go up to the crisis ships here. The ships come in the menacing forms of corvette, destroyer, and cruiser types. These ships use a ship's type that is reminiscent of pirate ships. They have different sections available to them from their normal counterparts. And the really great thing about the menacing ships is they pack a hefty punch and only cost minerals to build. So you might have seen this when I popped into this window originally. Once you hit level five crisis progression, you're going to be given two of these bad boys, the Star Eaters. Star Eater class ships are one of the big feature items for this DLC. Whoa. You get all the technology. You, they come with a base technology and components, and you will get the technology to know how to build all those components. So you may find yourself, when you reach this level five, getting a significant boost to your ship technology. Star Eaters are formable ships on their own. Even the weaker base models usually start out with 30 to 40K fleet power. They have a large amount of component slots, as you can see, and you can build more Star Eater ships, but it does cost a significant amount of dark matter, and it takes a fair amount of time. You also need a colossal shipyard to do so, so that means Citadel technology needs to be learned. The ship goes through a charging process, you use their devastating ability to destroy entire star systems. And they can do this fast. So it goes through the charging process, and then a shorter firing process like we see on Colossus. Most things in the system, other ships, stars, planets, are going to be destroyed, friendly or unfriendly. So you can destroy your own systems, unclaimed systems, or the systems of those that you're currently at war with. Once a system is destroyed, you're going to receive a significant amount of dark matter. The dark matter, you're going to need it for the Aether Ophasic Engine. This mega structure appears in your capital system when you hit level 5 crisis power. It produces resources and it can be upgraded by spending massive amounts of dark matter. Once it is completed, the builder wins. The galaxy is remade or undone or something like that. So yeah, now, now we're gonna go join a system cracking already in progress. I like to just kind of zoom out a little bit and angle it slightly and turn off the HUD with control F9. And let's uh let's see what we got. This is uh, always a good show. Complete. Beautiful. And you can see those planets destroying. Black hole made. And this little guy. He, 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 he did a lot of work. So that's it, folks. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. Thanks for watching. And stay safe out there, you star eaters.